Bonjour. Today we're taking you on a journey through France, one of the most enchanting countries in the world. From the iconic Eiffel Tower to the charming streets of Provence, join me, Alice, in a country that I have just visited. France is a treasure trove of beauty and culture. So, without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 places you must visit in France, plus a bonus location at the end. Number one, Paris, the city of lights. Our journey begins in the heart of France, Paris. Known as the city of lights, Paris is a dazzling metropolis filled with art, history, and romance. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower, initially criticized by some of France's leading artists and intellectuals, is now one of the most iconic structures globally, attracting millions of visitors annually? Fun fact, Gustave Eiffel, the mastermind behind the tower's design, incorporated innovative techniques that allowed it to sway slightly in the wind, ensuring its stability. Apart from the iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame Cathedral, there are countless other attractions to explore. Take the chance to visit the world-renowned Louvre Museum, home to thousands of priceless works of art, including the Mona Lisa. Take a stroll down the Champs-Élysées, one of the most famous avenues in the world, lined with shops, cafes and theatres. And for those seeking a taste of Parisian nightlife, the vibrant district of Montmartre offers charming cobblestone streets, bustling restaurants and the iconic Sacré-Cœur Basilica, with its breathtaking panoramic views of the city. Number 2. Versailles a royal retreat. Just a short journey from Paris lies the opulent Palace of Versailles. Did you know that the construction of Versailles required the labor of over 30,000 workers and cost the equivalent of billions of dollars in today's currency? Fun fact, the Palace of Versailles boasts over 2,300 rooms, including the extravagant Hall of Mirrors, a royal reception and celebrations venue. Step back in time as you explore the lavish halls, exquisite gardens, and the famous Hall of Mirrors. It's no wonder why this UNESCO World Heritage Site attracts millions of visitors each year, eager to experience the grandeur of France's royal past. For those interested in history, the estate also includes the estate of Trianon and the Marie Antoinette estate offering a glimpse into the private lives of French royalty. Number three, Provence, a feast for the senses. Next on our list is the picturesque region of Provence. In addition to its stunning natural beauty, Provence is home to charming villages, bustling markets and historic sites. One must visit destination is the village of Gordes, perched on a hilltop with breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside. Explore the narrow cobblestone streets, visit the 12th century castle, and browse the local artisan shops. Did you know that Provence is not only famous for its lavender fields, but also for its olive groves? Fun fact, Provence produces over 70% of France's olive oil, with traditional olive mills still in operation today producing some of the finest olive oil in the world. A trip to Provence would only be complete with a visit to the bustling markets of Aix-en-Provence, where you can sample local delicacies, purchase fresh produce, and browse handmade crafts. Number four, French Riviera, where luxury meets sunshine. For a taste of luxury and sunshine, head to the French Riviera Beyond its glamorous beaches and exclusive resorts, the French Riviera offers a wealth of cultural attractions. Art enthusiasts won't want to miss the chance to visit the Fondation Maillet in Saint-Paul-de-Vence, a stunning museum set amidst lush gardens, showcasing works by some of the 20th century's greatest artists, including Joan Miro and Marc Chagall. For those interested in history, the medieval village of Aise offers a fascinating glimpse into the past with its narrow cobblestone streets, ancient fortifications, and stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea. Number five, Mont Saint-Michel, 
a medieval marvel, prepare to be enchanted by the magical island of Mont Saint-Michel. In addition to its stunning medieval architecture, Mont Saint-Michel offers a wealth of attractions for visitors to explore. Start your journey at the imposing abbey, perched atop the island's rocky peak, where you can explore the labyrinthine halls, chapels and cloisters. Then, descend into the village below, where you'll find charming cobblestone streets lined with shops, cafes and restaurants. Did you know that Mont Saint-Michel is surrounded by one of the most dramatic tidal ranges in the world? Interesting fact, the tide at Mont Saint-Michel can vary by as much as 50 feet between high and low tide, creating a truly unique and mesmerizing landscape. For those interested in maritime history, don't miss the chance to visit the Musée Maritime, which offers fascinating exhibits on the island's rich maritime heritage. Number six, Loire Valley, land of castles. If you're a fan of fairy tale castles, then the Loire Valley is a dream come true. In addition to its stunning chateau, the Loire Valley offers many outdoor activities for visitors to enjoy. Nature enthusiasts will want to take advantage of the chance to explore the Loire-Anjou-Touraine Regional Natural Park, which offers miles of hiking and biking trails, as well as bird watching, picnicking, and wildlife spotting opportunities. For those interested in adventure sports, the Loire River offers excellent opportunities for kayaking, canoeing, and stand-up paddleboarding with stunning views of the surrounding countryside. Number seven, Normandy, D-Day beaches and beyond history comes alive in the Normandy region. In addition to its poignant D-Day beaches and moving memorials, Normandy offers a wealth of attractions for visitors to explore. History enthusiasts will want to take advantage of the chance to visit the medieval town of Bayeux, home to the famous Bayeux Tapestry, a stunning 11th century embroidered cloth depicting the Norman conquest of England. Enfleur offers a wealth of seafood restaurants for those interested in culinary delights, serving up freshly caught fish, mussels and oysters, as well as traditional Norman dishes like camembert cheese and apple tart. Did you know Normandy is renowned for its delicious dairy products, including creamy camembert cheese and rich Normandy butter? Fun fact, Camembert cheese, one of Normandy's most famous exports, has been produced in the region since the 18th century and is celebrated for its creamy texture and distinctive flavor. Number eight, Bordeaux, wine capital of the world. We are calling all wine lovers. Bordeaux awaits with its world-renowned vineyards and unparalleled wine culture. In addition to its prestigious wines, Bordeaux offers a wealth of cultural attractions for visitors to explore. Art enthusiasts will want to take advantage of the chance to visit the CPC Museum of Contemporary Art, housed in a stunning 19th century warehouse, showcasing works by some of the world's most significant contemporary artists. Also, for those interested in history, the city's historic center offers a wealth of architectural treasures, including the stunning Bordeaux Cathedral and the Grand Théâtre de Bordeaux, one of the finest opera houses in Europe. Interesting fact, Bordeaux is home to over 6,000 wine-producing chateaux and is known as the world's wine capital, producing approximately 960 million bottles of wine annually. Number nine, Annecy, the Venice of the Alps. Tucked away in the French Alps is the charming town of Annecy, often referred to as the Venice of the Alps. In addition to its stunning scenery, Annecy offers many outdoor activities for visitors. Adventure enthusiasts will want to take advantage of the chance to explore the surrounding mountains, which provide excellent opportunities for hiking, mountain biking, rock climbing, skiing, and snowboarding in the winter months. And for those interested in culture and history, the town's historic center offers a wealth of architectural treasures, including the stunning Palais de Lille, 
a medieval castle set on a picturesque island in the Thiel River, number 10, Strasbourg, where France meets Germany last but certainly not least, we have Strasbourg, a city where French and German influences blend seamlessly. In addition to its stunning cathedral and charming canals, Strasbourg offers a wealth of cultural attractions for visitors to explore. History enthusiasts will want to visit the Alsatian Museum, which offers fascinating exhibits on the region's rich cultural heritage, including traditional costumes, furniture and crafts. And for those interested in culinary delights, Strasbourg provides a wealth of gastronomic delights, including conventional Alsatian dishes like choucroute garni, flamme kueche and bekoff, as well as fine dining restaurants serving up innovative cuisine inspired by the region's rich culinary traditions. Bonus destination, the French Alps, majestic mountains and Alpine charm. Before we wrap up our journey, let's remember the breathtaking beauty of the French Alps. In addition to its stunning scenery, the French Alps offer many outdoor activities for visitors. Adventure enthusiasts will want to explore the region's extensive network of hiking trails, which offer stunning views of snow-capped peaks, alpine meadows, and crystal clear mountain lakes. And for those interested in culinary delights, the French Alps offer a wealth of gastronomic delights, including traditional mountain fare like tartiflette, raclette, and fondues, as well as fine dining restaurants serving up innovative cuisine inspired by the region's rich culinary traditions. And there you have it, folks, an epic adventure through France's top 10 places to visit. Whether you're drawn to iconic landmarks, breathtaking scenery, or mouth-watering cuisine, France has something for everyone. So pack your bags, immerse yourself in the beauty of this remarkable country, and create memories that will last a lifetime. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel adventures. Thanks for watching, and until next time, au revoir.